Right, I've emerged from Row Barrow Warren. Now going down this little, little tiny lane. The old Land Rover's still there. Beyond this hedge are some great views of the homes. And I'm just going to zoom in again to show Bambri Bamwell Hill Fort. And I, the big tree that's on the top of it, it's like a pancake Bamwell Hill Fort. It's very flat. But I've stood under that tree and had a little picnic. Well, they keep cows in there now. They might have always done, but that's Banwell Hill Fort. Further along will be Banwell Wood. Um, where the tower is, which I've always also been to this year. But I probably I won't bother. I'm not really interested in going back to Banwell Wood. It's been parceled off to be bought by people. And, um, you know, it's, it's unfriendly really because they don't want anyone to actually go there and visit and walk and enjoy the beauty. So, I've been followed by a big grey cloud, but hopefully it's going up towards Bristol. My toe is only just starting to feel a bit dodgy. I've got, I've got one toe. It's like a type of bunion, I think. I keep put deep heat on it a lot and it does keep it at bay but towards the end of a walk I always it starts to throb a bit I can also see if I go over there that's the quarry area that was in this morning that wood there the encampment private camping and the wood Leading to the quarry is there, and I was there a long time ago, earlier today. Right in the very distance you've got Whirlbury Wood and Hillfort. It's the 7th of June 2021, and I have recorded this before. But some people have probably never seen my recordings. I'm not very, I've, I've lost a bit of patience keeping the camera still, it'll be humpy jumpy, we've got wind blowing and I noticed as well if I, because of me asthma and breathing, sometimes if I breathe in too heavy that also comes up on, on the video, it also comes up. So we're having a leisurely walk this afternoon. Now if I keep walking the actual toe eases up, it, it, it um, it's when I stop for too long it happens. Like when I've got to get off the bus later after being on it for half an hour to an hour. It'll play up then. Yeah, I'll get off by the town hall now and then I can just walk through. I'll either go to Tesco's or go to the little shops near where I live. I'm just going at this leisurely pace rather than think because I, I hate having to rush my walk. I've had to run down um, to Winscombe before now when I've miscalculated the time. It could happen again. <sighs> but I've, I normally get the five o'clock. Um, because the if I miss the six o'clock while well, I've had it, I'd have to walk all the way along the strawberry line to Congressbury to pick up a Bristol bus. And that's quite a long way. It's quite a long way. So, and I don't really want to do that because that is too far. So we mustn't. Well, the bus arrives cheddar say five past the hour it varies sometimes it's eight minutes past but if you say five past or even say on the hour and then add on quarter of an hour plus five minutes either side that's you know if you say quarter past the hour you've only got to wait say five ten minutes so these are lovely long little lane 
uh, leading down to Shippen. I can if I want go all the way down to Shippen. There is another public walkway, but it's mainly probably loads of cows. I might have to have cows yet. I might have to have two sets of cows yet. I've got no idea. I've been lucky. I've managed to avoid them over the last couple of years. Or they haven't seen me and I've managed to keep low and get past them. Yeah. Got my new stick. I had two new sticks, hiking sticks, for Christmas and I only just got my presents. And I had a survival tin, which has got a flint lighter in it, which is good. It's got lots of survival bits in there, even cotton and needles. <laughs> like a little tiny compass. Jerry and Duncan got me that. <sighs> but because of the COVID, we haven't been able to see each other until recently. Cow parsley is still very fresh here, but I noticed in Grove Park it was really finished. Not such pure air, I suppose. Now, is that a cuckoo? Let me just zoom in. Or is it a pigeon? I think the cuckoo's got a longer neck. I'm sure I've seen one yesterday near Ariel where I live. Now, is that a cuckoo? Could be a young one. I think they've got much longer necks. It does look a bit like a pigeon, doesn't it? Well, if it starts cuckooing, we'll know it's a cuckoo. Right, so we carry on tumbling down. When I get further over, I'm going to say half an hour, an hour's time, I'll get even more great views of um, Banwell Hill Fort. Right, let me just uh, turn off a minute. Right, I'm in this puddled field, whatever it is. It's humpy bumpy for where the miners used to mine. Surface mining. I'm sure it's called puddling. I'm not sure. So one day I will look it up. They have a special name for it. And this is one of these such fields. Now, I nearly came up a avenue which is called Deer Leap. Now, there, it could be that there is a path from there. But I always remember, I always make that error. This is the main path back down that way. I'll be walking through that wood over there. Hope there's no cows, or they're not too close. Don't know yet, because it's not this field, it's the next one that they would be in. I always struggle when I'm in this here. When I get to this stage and this for my walks, I'm always really hot. I've already I've already done a big hike. By the time I get here, I do recover again. By after I got up the hill, the other side of the troll bridge, I will recover. But this bit, I always, when I dropped, I had a brand new camera once. This woman was walking with me and I dropped it at this style. <sighs> yeah, I dropped it. She was the posh lady as well. She lived in a big house. <sighs> I think I was a little bit sharp when that happens, but uh, she still walked me. She's taking her dog home. Let's put that there a minute and I get up. The older I get, the harder it's getting, to tell you the truth. I know I'm slowing up. I know I am. That's why I probably fall before I tripped then. Nearly. Oh. 
There's, there's a marker there. Look, that'll take us on the path over there. I can't see any cows. Yes, I can. Okay. Can't see some. So we need to be nimble. I can see some. Right over there. Look, there's the back of a cow. See? So what I need to do is get a move on around the back here. I hope there's not a big herd. It might be goats. They could even be sheep. There's a few sort of dotted about. Any trouble, I'll have to get over this barbed wire fence. You know, I can remember as a very, very small child, I could have even been in a pram, being taken into fields with buttercups and cowslips with me mum. Sun's coming out and I couldn't run if you bloody paid me. See, with walking, it's not all straightforward, you know. There are little elements where you get out of breath, where you get hot, where you get tired. Oh. Look over there, look. That, I think that's steep home. There. That's some um, Banwell wood, that hump there. I think they might be goats, you know. They don't look big enough for cows, but if they're down in the dip. Oh, I can't rush though, I can't breathe, see. Now, I'll just zoom in again, look. This is Banwell Hill Fort, a really good view of it. Right into the big tree in the centre of the plateau. And beyond that is um, Western Supermare, Whirlbury Hill Fort. Right over there, where I was several hours ago is Rowbarrow Hill Fort. See that there? There's a pathway going up the side. I climbed that this morning. I was up there where the rooks were. And I've been right round on a great big lovely circle through the woods. So I'm now going to take some pictures folks before we go up there into the wood. I'll take some pictures before